What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And today's video is gonna be my first thrift trip with my new car. I'm gonna to head to a couple Goodwills, maybe a Salvation Army, maybe go to Dream Deals at Amazon Overstock store. I'm gonna be fairly picky with what I pick up today because I already have a ton of stuff in the garage that I haven't even listed yet, but I'm excited to see what we can find and fill up the Forerunner with today. So our first stop of the day is gonna be Dream Deals. This is the Amazon Overstock and Return Store. Everything in the store today, Friday and Saturday is $6 per item, no matter what it is. If it's a cheap, you know, knockoff Chinese phone case, it's six bucks. If it's a brand new Samsung Galaxy A50 cell phone still sealed in the packaging, like I found two of in the past, it is six dollars so i'm super excited to get in here and see what's left usually you have to come and like wait in line to be one of the first people inside to get the really good stuff but i've come later in the day and found some good stuff in the past so we'll see what they have today first find of the day was this pack of control freak ps4 thumbstick extenders these do sell well but they're not worth the six dollar buy cost Slim pickings today. It's got, got two things. So while that was a little disappointing, I have to remember that I got there like an hour after they opened and I only really shopped around there for about 20 minutes or so before I started checking out. The only two things I got was this pack of Pokemon cards, which I know nothing about other than the fact that they are increasing in value lately. It's a pack of 20 rare Pokemon cards. So we're gonna get these opened up and see if it's worth six bucks. Maybe I can make some money on those. And then I got this uh, 60 LED solar motion sensor light uh, to put on our new shed that we got built in the backyard. So one item to possibly make some money on and one item for personal use. So I got this pack of Pokemon cards here. There's supposed to be 20 rare cards in here. So I'm gonna go through and just show you guys what they are because honestly, I don't know anything about Pokemon cards. So I'll show you all the cards I have and then I will list them on my eBay store. And once this video goes live, I'll make the listing live. So whoever wants to buy them can buy them. I'm just gonna sell them at cost, $6 plus shipping uh, and see if anybody, anybody wants them. So first we got Swellow, Florgis, Bufalant, Bufalant, Rhyperior, Nitto Queen, I recognize that one, Nitto Queen. Gorbis, Delcaddy, Mag Cargo, Beedrill, I know that one. Skeptile, Parasect, Marowak, I recognize that one. Vanilux, Simiseer, Braviari, Braviary, Chitat, Chatat, Simipore, Dodrio, recognize that one. Noivern, and Hallucha. I'm sure I mispronounced like half of those. Again, I know nothing about Pokemon cards. Uh, I looked up two or three of them and it looks like they're selling for like three bucks free shipping on eBay. So I'm just not gonna mess with it. If anybody wants this whole pack, again, it'll be linked in my eBay store. Whoever buys it first gets it. Now I am here at the Goodwill Retail slash Goodwill Bins Outlet Clearance Center. I haven't been here in a long time. Honestly, I haven't sourced that much in the month of October at all because we were doing the yard sale last weekend and. It's, it's just been super busy for us lately. So this is actually the first time I've been to this Goodwill in maybe two, two and a half weeks. So there should be plenty of stuff to dig through. First up, I got these SAS shoes that are like brand new. Looks like they were worn one time. These are gonna be $6.50. I'll grab this. I'm not seeing a ton of stuff today. A little filter. Bunch of these like exit signs, but I don't think they want five dollars and ninety-four cents each. I don't think those are going to be worth it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nothing. Not too much in the retail side of Goodwill today. I only picked up that pair of SAS women's shoes. They were six dollars and fifty cents. I should be able to get like. 35 maybe 40 for them since they're basically brand new get them cleaned up um, and they should sell pretty quickly i'd hope so let's go into the bin side over here see what we can find excuse me ma'am i'm gonna sneak through here Well, 
that sucked. Like I said, I haven't been to the bins or this other location in about two and a half weeks. So I really thought there was gonna be a lot more, I don't know, fresh items and everything at both sides, like the retail side here and the clearance side just seemed really, really picked over. There were a couple things that were decent that I didn't pick up just because I have a ton of stuff to list as is. But to go to both of those locations and only get one pair of shoes is just a little disappointing. Now I am here at the post office. I gotta drop off my, oops, off my packages that sold yesterday. I think we had, I don't know, like eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I had eight packages that sold yesterday. I gotta take these in there. I should have brought my IKEA bag so it's a little bit easier to handle, but I guess I like living life on the edge. Okay, we got it. Whoops. Wonder if the handicap thing works. Dang it. Ooh, it does work. Okay. Did it fall? Hey, how are you, Fred? All right, y'all right, have a good one. All right, you too. All right, so let's let's go ahead and open this stuff and see what we're working with. I also have like two more packages at my house that I got at my PO box like a week ago that I haven't opened yet. So when I get home today, I'll open the rest of those. This is a return to sender, and I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's the Dead of Winter board game. I feel like this sold to a viewer. So I need to figure out who bought this and figure out why it didn't get sent. Then we got an order right here from Cindy Thrifting again. So Cindy, let's see what you sent me here. A little Christmas card. Let's read the card first. Hey Josh, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate your videos. I've learned a lot from you. I also asked you some questions about printers and shipping and you answered within minutes. So when I saw this mug, I just had to send it, LOL. Thanks again, Cindy. So Cindy, let's see what mug you sent me. All right, here we go. What's it say? You're the best. Oh, I'll say that made in Brazil. That's like a vintage bug. You're the best. I say that to end up on my videos. Cindy, thank you so much. This is definitely going on my little shelf in the background of my videos. I love this. Thank you. And then this next one is from Scott Fisher. That name sounds really familiar. Let's see what you brought me. Oh, the support your friends hat. That's right. Yeah, Scott said his buddy has like an embroidery business and he made a support your friends hat for me. Uh, and he just wanted to send it to me and see if I like it. I was like, hey, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Looks super, super cool. Let's try it on. I need to, I need to go look in the mirror. I can look in the reflection of my cars. All right, how's it look? I feel like it looks pretty good. Scott, thank you so much, man. Or thanks to your friend or whoever it was that, that made it. I really appreciate this. I just left the post office and now I'm here at the Salvation Army, but they don't open for another 15 minutes or so. So I stopped and grabbed some lunch at the grocery store. Just in case you guys were wondering what a lunch for me looks like. I know that's the most random comment ever, but I got some uh, slices of watermelon and some teriyaki beef jerky and a cherry blade lemonade bang energy drink. That's, that's the lunch of champions, man. So while I wait for Salvation Army to open up, I'm gonna sit here and eat my lunch and I'm gonna go through some of my older YouTube videos and see if I can find some comments where people were asking questions that I didn't get around to answering yet. First question here is from Amelia Antonelli. She says, do you use the managed payment system on eBay? Any advice on which options on selling I should start with? I do use the eBay managed payment system and I absolutely love it so far. It makes my life in terms of accounting and bookkeeping much much easier because ebay is now taking off the like their fees and the shipping costs and everything so everything that ebay deposits into my account is mine minus some taxes so it's really easy that way i don't think everybody is on managed payments yet i've been on it for about a month or so and i, I really love it like i just said but i think they're doing it in batches like first it was just a few sellers and then a few more and then a few more so i think I got emails saying that everybody was going to be on managed payments by like July of this year, but obviously that didn't happen. So I think they're just going to keep adding more and more people to it over the next year or so. And then the second part of that question, any advice on which options on selling I should start with? I'm assuming you're still talking about the eBay managed payment system. The only two options you can choose from is do you want to get paid every day or do you want to get paid once a week? And that's totally a preference up to you, whatever you want to do for your business. I like the once a week model just because it 
I don't know, it kind of feels like I'm making more money. Like for me, I think it's every Monday, like either every Monday afternoon or every Tuesday morning, I get a deposit in my bank account for the eBay sales that I had the week prior. And usually it's like, I don't know, over a thousand bucks, just out a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks or so after shipping and fees and everything, which is a pretty good deposit in your account every every week. So that's what I do. Again, that's totally up to you and your preferences. This next question is one that I get pretty much every single day, either on Instagram or YouTube. And this one is from London Green. And they say, What app are you using to scan things? And it's just the eBay app. You just go to your eBay app, you click the search bar, the little picture of the camera on onto the right. Once you click that, It'll bring up like, do you want to take a picture or do you want to scan a barcode? Scan a barcode is the very last option. You click that, you take a picture of the barcode and it pulls up the listing on eBay. Simple as that. There's no third party apps that I use to scan or look up prices. It's all through the, the one and only eBay app. And then the last question is coming from Mitchell Tyndall. He says, I just started selling on eBay myself. How do you handle buyers that are not legit? It seems like there are quite a few scammers. The first couple of items that I posted, I had to relist them due to the buyer not being legit. One of them was removed by eBay and I was able to relist with fees being waived. Just trying to find the best way to go about this. Mitchell, that is a great question because it's something that everybody new to eBay is going to experience. If you start a new eBay account and you start listing things for sale, you are gonna get those messages that say, Hey, I see you're listing this item for $20. Will you accept 60? Please email me at this email address to work out payment, or please text me at this number to work out payment. That is 100% of the time a scam. Do not respond, decline the offers, block the buyers, just ignore them completely because they are just gonna either try to take your item for free or steal money from you. As far as avoiding this, there's not really a good way to do it because these scanners look for people with new eBay accounts thinking that they don't know what they're doing, and usually they don't know what they're doing, but that's why the scammers try to take advantage of you. So to, to get rid of those, you just have to get more feedback. If the scammer looks and sees that you only have one feedback or zero feedbacks or even three or four feedbacks, they're gonna think you're pretty new and you don't know what you're doing and you're gonna be easily scammed. So the best way to get through that period of the scammer messages coming in is to get more feedback. One of the best things to do is buy shipping supplies through the eBay shipping supply store. If you go to like search for eBay tape, it'll be sold by the, a store called eBay shipping supplies or something like that and their store is set to give you automatic positive feedback once you pay for the item so I would go buy all of your shipping supplies from that eBay shipping supply store in separate transactions so you buy your tape pay for that you get a positive feedback you buy some boxes pay for that get a positive feedback you buy uh, some padded envelopes pay for that get positive feedback you can get three four or five positive feedbacks just from buying your shipping supplies from that ebay store when a buyer looks at your ebay account they're going to see your total number of feedback and they're not going to be able to tell whether that feedback came from buying or selling so you could have a hundred positive feedback and all of it has come from buying things on ebay so when you sell your first ebay item with a hundred positive feedback the scammers are probably going to leave you alone because they can't tell if that was buying or selling and if that was from selling hundred you've sold a hundred things on eBay with positive feedback on each one they're not gonna think that they can scam you very easily thank you guys so much for always commenting on my videos and asking questions I try my best to go and, and answer as many as I possibly can but it does get kind of hard to keep track if you comment on an older video like a video I posted you know a couple months ago and ask a question I may not see those I try to to focus on the newer videos because I get so many comments coming in on those um, so if you ever have a question, feel free to comment on a very recent video posted within the last 24 hours or so, or shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll be happy to help you out there. But with that being said, the Salvation Army just opened up, so let's head in here and see what we can find. All right, here we go. Let's call that back here. Easton XL1, drop 10. Model YB14X1. Let's look it up. One sold for $45 plus shipping. Pre-owned $112. 23 bids. This is, that was a 29 inches. This is... <laughs> that was 29 This is... 31 inches, drop 10. Either way, we're definitely gonna get it. Anywhere from 50 bucks to 120. Definitely, definitely a pickup. And it is 
a dollar and 99 cents crazy and this nice pair of Merrells right here these are in excellent condition a little bit of heel rubbing plenty of tread left these are six dollars and 99 cents grab them uh, a pair of Asics Gel Resolution IGS. These look really well made. Six dollars and ninety nine cents. Very minimal wear. Very minimal. I think I'll go ahead and grab these. Probably worth like thirty bucks or so. Got this mirror. Haley wanted a mirror to go in the garage for like where the gym is. It's fifteen bucks. I think that can fit in the Forerunner. I think so. Check out this leather chair. It's a leather chair with an ottoman with like extra, an extra cushion or something. 40 bucks, 100% leather. Hickory chair, made in Hickory, North Carolina. I don't think that can fit in the Forerunner, but I can come back with the truck and get it later. It's cool, I and mean, check out the, the legs like it's on wheels it can like <laughs> they don't roll very well but it can roll i think if you clean that up a little bit that would look really really good i'm gonna get it look at this spider snowsuit they want 50 bucks golly this is probably worth about 50 bucks on ebay 50 to 75 it's got some stains on it, but I've sold some spider jackets, women's jackets. I think I got like 60 bucks a piece for those. It's definitely a good item, especially this time of year, but not for 50 bucks. Sorry, Charlie. I literally almost missed this 30 pound dumbbell for $2.99. It's down here, more golf clubs, and I recognize this one. This is Titleist. It's old. But still still worth something. I bet these are like a dollar. See, two ninety nine. Okay, so that's a good one. This is oh gosh. Okay, that's a Callaway FT13 wood. Really scratched up, but definitely worth two dollars and ninety nine cents. Look at this pain. Ping G. Oh, dang it, it's not a ping. Just that head cover there. We got the Callaway X29 iron for $1.99. Oh, I got this one. Callaway FT1 driver for $2.99. Callaway X27 iron, $1.99. Callaway pitching wedge. Callaway 6 iron. Callaway 8 iron. And that's not worth it. All of these are awesome. How you doing, Miss Liddy? Right, so some of these are $1.99 and some are $2.99. Let me see. One, two, three, four. We got six at one ninety nine, and two at two ninety nine. All right, and then we got this, which is two ninety nine. We got this bat, which is one ninety nine. I got two furniture pieces. Yes, ma'am. I got a mirror for fourteen ninety nine, and I got that leather chair for thirty nine ninety nine. And I got some yellow shoes, six ninety nine. And another pair of yellow shoes for $6.99. Called both of them. Whew, I think that's the most I ever spent here. I think so too. <laughs> I'm going to take the mirror, but I don't think I can fit the chair. But I'll be back today to get the chair. Sir, could I go out that door? Thank you. You're welcome. Save me a yeah, long you way around. Yeah, you don't want to go all the way around here. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right, 
Okay, there's space in here for the chair, but I don't want to risk breaking the mirror. So I'm just going to take this stuff home, go get my truck, make sure if it cranks up. I don't even know if it'll crank up. If it cranks up, I'll drive it here and get the chair later. I'm not going to risk ruining that mirror. Well, like I said, I'm on the way home to drop this stuff off. I'm going to get my truck and come back for that chair. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you guys that I have just now, being almost 30 years old, discovered how great Fleetwood Mac is. There was a viral TikTok that was going around of this guy riding a skateboard and drinking cranberry juice listening to Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I think that's the name of the song. And I was like, oh, Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac, let me just you know, start a playlist and, and check out their other music. I've, everybody has heard the name Fleetwood Mac, but I grew up listening to country music. I didn't listen to the Beatles or Fleetwood Mac or any, any of that cool stuff, you know? I've been listening to Fleetwood Mac all day long and it is wonderful. Why did it take me almost 30 years to discover how great this band is? I'm just, I, I'm blown away. It's gonna be my my go-to playlist for at least the next couple weeks for sure. All right, obviously I'm home now and this is what I wanted to do with the mirror. We work out here. This is our little home gym with the bench and the dumbbells and all of our other stuff and everybody knows you work out better if you can see your muscles while you're doing it. So I think the mirror is perfect right there. Hey, Mose, how's it going? I missed you. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? Oh, I can show you guys the new shed. We wanted a shed built in our yard so we could put all of the non eBay stuff from the garage in the shed so I can make the garage like explicitly eBay stuff. We had a lot of my tools like my table saw and my planer and stuff like that my workbench that were that was taking up a lot of space in the garage so we're in the process of moving that stuff into the shed uh but here is what it looks like i, I painted it i uh, they built it and they didn't paint it so i've been painting the trim it looks terrible because i need to actually paint i just painted the trim with some like kills primer but i need to go back and actually paint the the side portion but that's what it looks like it looks just like a shed Simple, sturdy, lawnmowers in here, nothing too fancy. I did ask that they put the window on that side so I could see the yard, but they put it on that side. So, uh, but other than that, pretty good. Moz, you like the shed? Why are you, you look like a sphinx. Why are you sitting like that? Why are you so serious? Since I'm home, I figured I'd go ahead and open up these two packages that I got from my P.O. box last week that I haven't opened yet. There's that one and this one. I've also gotten a ton of postcards from you guys over the last couple weeks. I probably have like 30 or so that I haven't read on camera and it's just a lot to keep up with. So maybe I'll do a live stream where I go through those. But for right now, I'm just going to open the two actual packages. First one is from Simon Hernandez. Let's see what this is. Simon sent me a Dunder Mifflin face mask. That's so awesome, man. Thank you so much. A two pack to Josh, Harry Tornado, Varnell. Thanks for all your informative videos and support. We too are also the office fans. So we thought these would serve you well in these crazy COVID times. Keep on killing it this year. The Houston reseller. Houston reseller, Sammy, is that what his name? Simon, Simon, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Next up is this big box from Kelly Hubert. Kelly, you paid $15.40 to send this to me. I really appreciate that, no matter what's inside. All right, Kelly, let's see what you got here. This looks cool. The Who. Greetings from Indiana, Josh. As a frequent watcher, subscriber of your YouTube content, I wanted to let you know how much I enjoy your channel. I also started following you on Instagram. Recently, I purchased a few The Who items to add to my son-in-law's collection I started for him last Christmas. Turns out he had reached his limit on collectibles and wasn't interested and adding the items I had purchased. Rather than trying to sell them, I thought I would pass them along to you. I'm ho hoping you can make a couple dollars off of them. While the album covers aren't good, aren't in good shape, the vinyls, the vinyl looks very good. Of course, true collectors want those pristine covers, but if someone wants to just wants to listen to the music, they will enjoy these. There's a cute red line van reproduction, and I think one of their books. Just fun stuff. And free, always the right price. Best of luck on all your sales, Kelly Huber. Kelly, thank you so much. The only way this could have been better if it is if it were Fleetwood Mac because I'm obsessed with them. Okay, that took a lot, but I got it open. So we got a The Who Hot Wheels car, smoking grill. That is awesome. We got a sealed for your protection, The Who Live at Leeds. This one is, no, it's not sealed, it's open. Live at Leeds, got the vinyl in there. That's awesome. Got another Who album, Tommy The Who. That's pretty cool. And this one is sealed. What is this one? Oh, this is their book that you were talking about. Okay. The Who, Maximum R&B. That is awesome. 
That is seriously, seriously cool. Kelly, thank you so much for sending me all that stuff. I really, really appreciate it. I guess since I'm already in the office, I can give you guys a tour. So if you notice, I moved the shipping shelf into the closet. I feel like that's out of the way and I can close the doors and you know cover up most of my boxes. I still have my shipping table out here. It's like a double leaf table, so this thing folds up, and there's also another one on the other side that folds up. Not 100% sure what I want to do with that, but obviously we need to paint in here, so I don't want to do too much. I'm thinking that that leather chair, I needed something for this corner, because I have like my printer and stuff on there, and I moved the table over here, so I need something for this corner. And I'm thinking that that chair that we just bought at Salvation Army is going to look really good right there. And that'll give me another place to film my YouTube videos, like from this angle with like the postcards in the background, and maybe something cool on this wall, and then the chair in the middle. I think that be uh you know another scene i can use for my youtube videos obviously i gotta get it cleaned up in here a little bit you should have seen this place earlier today when i was trying to get all that in there i had to take everything off the shelf move the shelf in there and put everything back on the shelf i have a lot of boxes a lot of a lot of freaking boxes but i am super excited to see what this office is going to look like once we get everything how it's supposed to be and get everything painted a lot of potential in here Let's see how it looks in a couple months. So I actually got my truck to crank up on the first try, which is just a miracle in itself. So hopefully it lasts long enough for me to take it to the Salvation Army, pick up that chair and come back. We'll see. Chair and ottoman acquired. All right, so I got the chair and ottoman home. I'm noticing that I actually don't know what this cushion is to. This cushion was on top of the ottoman, but I don't know. This cushion looks like it has the little spots where the buttons go it came with a little thing of buttons but this one also has the strings for buttons so i'm not sure i might just cut the strings out or something and just leave the holes in it because it doesn't it's not super noticeable if you didn't have the strings there but i need to clean this up a little bit i've got some simple green and some goo gone hopefully that stuff can get all these little marks off there's a couple little paint scuffs here and there some paint on the legs some more paint back here and some paint there so we'll get this thing cleaned up and see how nice we can get it looking and then put it in the office all right it was not easy getting in here but it's in i think it looks pretty cool uh, obviously i still got to get all this stuff cleaned up and get the the room painted and, and change things up a bit but i think having the desk here the shipping station there and the relaxation slash youtube filming chair there is going to be a really cool addition to the office. I really can't wait to see what it looks like all cleaned up. So I think I am done for today's video. I was going to go to a few more Goodwills, but I think I found so much stuff at the Salvation Army that I just need to chill out with sourcing for a while until I can get all this stuff that I already have listed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I appreciate your time tremendously. Remember to hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this video at all. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.